Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PAFX. As usual, we're going to do the majors here over YouTube. And for those of you who want to see the full version are welcome to do so over my site. The link is in the description below. So what I wrote the intro and disclaimer, hit the like button for me. And if you new this channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. As usual, we start uh, our uh, analysis with the Dixie, and here we are on the weekly time frame. Last week, the Dixie um, for the dollar uh, was a bearish week, and as you see, we ended up having an inside bar on the weekly candle, where we tried to break and close above the 200 moving average on the weekly, and uh, that was not uh, possible. We also tested above the monthly R1 and then rejected back down, yeah? So on the daily, we have this double top and correction. We broke the neckline and we went back to test this uh, important area around the 95.15, which been uh, tested many times in the past. That's why we still keep an eye on this important level. So the dollar is right now testing this area and I will play this uh, on the four hour. Uh, most of it because of uh, we are testing this important low here and we have the 200 moving average acting as support as well and we can never be 100% sure if this was only a correction before a continuation to the upside or if this was a start of a deeper correction which gonna be looking something like this so for the next week um, what I'd be looking at for uh, the dollar, if we're going to get another retest here, if we break this low, that means we open the doors, uh, the door all the way down toward these levels to test the monthly S1 area. Otherwise, the second scenario would be a retest and another rejection, with, which will give us a double bottom down here. And probably a move higher to uh, at least retest of this neckline. So as you see, it is a bit tricky chart. On the daily time frame, we still have a higher high, but we had a lower low here. And uh, the question is right now, what is this for a um, move? Was it a correction or a start of an impulse leg before another move to the downside. So if it was a correction, we should not keep moving below the to, uh, the monthly pivot point and below that four hour, uh, um, uh, sorry, four hour support I showed you. Because this could also be a retest of this broken structure and a continuation, yeah? Uh, we know that the Fed is still very bullish and we should actually be looking for uh, long the dollar the question is from which area so it's an interesting level right now and uh, we should be um, considering both uh, scenarios yeah and what make me say that about uh, dollar is that gold did actually break let's go to the weekly gold bro uh, did uh, break above this previous high we left and closed above this range we had a choppy period of time here so on thursday we had a, this major move to the upside on the sell-off of um, the indices i think all of you saw that and uh, we had this major breakout uh, on gold and it did um, managed to hold on Thursday above the um, the 1200 area and above the 1220 which was also an important level and uh, on Friday this could be this move on Friday could be profit taking as well of this major move to the upside so since gold did this breakout I'm considering possible um, continuation and that should most of the time be that we may see some dollar weakness that's why i'm not sure really sure about the dixie this time but for gold if we see a retest toward the 1210 area here down here at this level 
could be a possible level where we look for a possible um, continuation to the upside yeah as far as we hold above monthly r1 here in this area it is a buy from this level after this uh, strong break out oil <clears throat> still trading to the downside if we look on the daily we still didn't reach this level i mentioned last week we still uh, considering possible retest of this uh, bottom of this channel which is a very important channel low here so last week it was a bearish move uh, we went back on friday and did close um, at the 71.46 here so it is this important level once again but i still see a possible move toward the uh, 69 area or monthly s1 to reach this uh, channel uh, low here and from there possibly a continuation to the upside so keep an eye on the low of that channel uh, for a possible continuation otherwise we have a possible already a possible double bottom here on the four hour and if we see any bullish evidence that we break above the neckline and do another retest then we could start looking for the move to the upside from this level as well okay but for me the best level would be down here the 69.50 area euro usd also was a good um, bullish week last week let's take a look at on the weekly on that as well but once again this ended up to be um, an inside bar we tried lower but it got rejected on the weekly daily you see that we broke this neckline and uh, held above above it which make me think um, for a possible continuation and that wa why i said about the dixie that we have a possibility that we move lower on the dixie if the euro is up then the dixie should be down so what happened last week was a break above this important structure and we got a retest and a bounce a little bit bounce higher at the end of the week so <clears throat> the question is if we're gonna continue to uh, test higher around the monthly uh, pivot point area so keep an eye on this level this area down here the 1.1531 level is an important uh, support level as far as the euro is holding above it there is a possibility for another leg to the upside sterling also did a very nice move to the upside but friday ended up as a bearish engulfing as you see uh, still uh, very very heavy on uh, the headlines for brexit so every brexit event is moving the sterling so you need to also keep an eye on those uh, headlines now we're having this move to the downside after this um, you, we saw here that the uh, the momentum was fading out as you see with these candles um, the, the correction was very deep every time and then the final drop so the first level to look at for the sterling is this area here this broken neckline this is the first possible level to look for bullish evidence and possible buy and the second level that would be down here 1.3025 if that got tested to possibly look for bullish evidence at this level um, for another push to the upside um, uj <coughs> done perfectly what was expected and continued to the downside as i said in last week overview and uh, we did test the level i mentioned as well this uh, 111.80 is a good and possible uh, support level um, it was acting as good uh, flips on in the past and uh, last week uh, we almost tested that on thursday and friday was another indecision day at this level so we should start looking at this area for a possible um, bounce here especially if the indices uh, start making some uh, higher correction after this um, very strong sell-off last week so uh, the levels to look at is of course 111.80 as a possible support level and uh, maybe we could target uh, these uh, previous lows down here around the 113 area or 
113.25 is also a possible level, yeah? Because um, the RSI is on the four hour, um, was at the oversold, and we now uh, start heading up on the RSI. This last hour, uh, four hour candle here could be only profit taking. Um, to ditch this idea is, of course, if we break below um, the 111 and 80, if that level got broken, then there is a possibility for more downside for uh, UJ. So this is um, um, a very important uh, area here to watch next week. Aussie USD, <coughs> we could start think of a possible uh, reversal or at least correction to the upside after this uh, week last week's uh, movement at this level um, the Aussie USD was not able to break below previous low so if we put on the weekly you see that we've got this inside bar yeah there, there is not much happening on the weekly but on daily uh, we've got this uh, bullish engulfing and on the four hour we've got this double bottom and now we are having a double top so the question is if aussie um, usd keep holding above this monthly s1 there is a possibility for a higher move toward probably a uh, monthly pivot point um, or first trouble area gonna be of course this level and if there is more momentum to the upside there is a possibility for a break above this but for this to happen you need to see gold moving higher and dixie keep moving to the downside so be aware of that this is a counter trend idea you see the daily trend is strongly to the downside but since we've got this consolidation and uh, move to the upside one could expect a possible move toward uh, the monthly pivot point and the top of the channel once again uh, to ditch this idea, uh, of course, uh, that would be if we break back below the monthly S1, then there is a possibility to at least test these lows on this uh, double bottom down here. And uh, below that, uh, as you see, if we break below the daily level here, then we start talking about moving toward these areas down here. So those are the scenarios a hold bullish evidence at the monthly s1 possibility for a higher correction a break below that would uh, open the way toward these lows down here once again usd cat still also um, considered bullish here after breaking out of this channel now and uh, holding back above this level above the 1.3000 uh, above monthly pivot point so uh, what we got what well, could be a possible break retest and a continuation what i'm watching for next week is how this uh, will um, this flag will play if we're gonna get um, some kind of this bullish flag um, got broken out and then uh, another push toward monthly r1 or probably higher yeah uh, for this also to keep moving up uh, you you're gonna need uh, oil to uh, maybe keep pushing down and if we have any CAD news uh, we have CAD news CPI and core retail sales on Friday but um, we have before that um, core retail sales and retail sales for the US dollar and the uh, the business outlook for the CAD also on Monday. So there is some CAD news uh, away from the oil uh, correlation to watch. Okay. And USD chief still very bullish in my opinion since we made this move. Very, very strong move. We start consolidating and making a correction down. But it didn't move down as uh, usually does if we're going to start thinking about um, safe haven uh, currency it did not act as that and uh, it is still uh, considered bullish in my opinion and I'm looking for a possible continuation um, what I wanted was uh, what I mentioned last week at uh, the retest toward this these lows and then back up we didn't really get the retest all the way but we did a retest of the highs here before uh, we've got the next move to the upside so 
once again if we get another retest to this area look for bullish evidence and this time we're gonna target uh, the um, one dollar here um, as a possible market objective to reach this high up here okay so uh, yeah uh, very interesting chart and that was um, for usd chief let's do the new zealand usd as well and here we see that uh, New Zealand USD done also a very nice uh, push on Thursday. It is still a bearish structure, but um, one could expect some correction higher. I think uh, for New Zealand USD on the one hour, uh, on the four hour time frame, we start having these higher highs and higher lows, and especially now after breaking above this neckline any uh, retest toward this area down here early next week could be a possible level to look for bullish evidence and another push uh, at least toward uh, 0.6545 area up here uh, this is an interesting level because it's been testing as support previously it is a flip zone of support and resistance if um, this to continue higher you need to see a break above this level and that will open the way for another push toward the monthly pivot point uh, this is short term and for next week because once again guys you see this is still a bearish market and uh, we could have some uh, continuation to the downside but i would like to see some uh, correction higher toward uh, the monthly pivot point that would be great before uh, the continuation to the downside yeah so thank you very much guys don't forget to get the benefit of this great offer 14 days trial for one dollar only thanks a lot see you next week bye bye